Hi, I'm Dan from Seagull.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Seagull Fast Track Series Kayak. Your Fast Track has four recessed fill valves located at the front of your kayak. One for each chamber, one for the floor, and one for the inflatable external keel. To prep these valves for inflation, simply press down on the center valve stem and turn it a quarter turn to the left until it springs into the upright position. Repeat this with the other valves. Locate your foot pump and attach the threaded end of the hose to the port that reads out. In your orange repair kit, you're going to find a gray valve adapter. Take the rib end of that valve adapter and insert it into the other end of the hose. Now insert the valve adapter into the valve and twist it to the right until it's fully seated. I recommend starting with the floor first. Prior to inflation, be sure to check the floor for proper placement. So let's start at the rear or the stern of the fast track. Check the location of the rear drain valves in relation to the cutout on the drop stitch floor. Make sure that they are properly aligned. Also, be sure that your floor is well tucked underneath the right and left chambers. This is going to affect what's called the chine. It's a specific design for the fast track that increases the trackability of the kayak. The proper working pressure of the fast track is 3.2 psi. Now, the foot pump included in your kit has been specifically designed to max out at 3.2 psi. Simply continue pumping until the resistance gets too hard to pump anymore and you'll be at the right pressure. Now, inflate your chambers to 75% at this time. This will allow for any last minute minor adjustments and also help with the ease of installing the optional kayak motor mount. Seagull offers a line of electric pumps to make inflation even easier. Remember to always use only a Seagull recommended pump and never an air compressor. The BTP electric pump will automatically shut off when the desired pressure setting is achieved. Simply set it, press it, and forget it. One PSI will fill your boat approximately three quarters of the way or 75%. Now's a good time to install the kayak motor mount if you have one. Included in your motor mount kit is one aluminum board, four neural nuts, one motor mount block, four washers, two short bolts, two long bolts, and two L brackets. Take the aluminum board and slide it onto the motor mount brackets located at the rear of the fast track. Now here's a little tip that you might find useful. Once you've got the aluminum board started onto the motor mount brackets, if you take your fast track and turn it on its side and just lean on the back end of the fast track, you'll watch that this motor mount will slide easily into place. Next, locate your short bolts. I like to stand them upright and drop your washers right over the top of them. On your aluminum board, you're going to see that there's a pre-drilled hole. Take the short bolt and insert them from the underside. Then take your aluminum bracket and with the hole closest to the edge, you're going to insert that over the bolt and loosely secure it with your null nuts. Repeat this step on the other side. Next, grab your motor mount block. If you look at the pre-drilled holes on this block, you're going to see that they are closer to one edge than the other. You want the long edge to be facing down. Take your long bolts. I like to stand them upright. Place your washers over the top of them and insert them onto your motor mount block. Then, Notice there are two positions, a top position and a lower position as far as the pre-drilled holes go. You're going to be using the lower position. And secure it with your null nuts.
Now be sure that your neural nuts are securely tightened. Now's the time to top off your chambers to the proper working pressure of 3.2 PSI. But before we do such, you want to make sure that your drop stitch flooring is completely seated under the right and left pontoons. This is going to affect what's called the chine of the fast track, which is an important feature that we'll review in just a few minutes. Now, if you have the deluxe inflatable kayak seat or seats, included with each seat are going to be two valve bodies. For the initial one-time setup, you're going to want to attach the retaining rings to the valve base. Don't worry, this is designed to be snug so you don't lose the valve caps. Insert the valve. and remove the cap. Locate your foot pump and remember to remove the recessed valve adapter. Locate the triple adapter and insert the wide mouth valve into the hose. Insert that into your valve and inflate your seat until it's firm. Place your inflated seats into your kayak Secure it to the D-rings. Position it to your liking and adjust your straps. And always remember, all Sea Eagle seats can be moved and repositioned to your liking. Now if you have the tall back seats, you can place them in your kayak now. Attach the front straps to the front D-rings and the rear straps to the rear D-ring. Adjust it to your liking and repeat this step with any additional seats. Now to assemble your four-part paddle. You should have two opposing blades, two drip guards, and two shaft sections. On one of the sections, you're going to note a raised heel. This is to help you orientate your paddle or your paddle blades. You're going to have three pre-drilled holes on one end and a single on the other. On the side with the single, you're going to want to slide on your drip guards. And then attach your paddle blade. Repeat this for the other side. Now to attach the two halves. Notice the pre-drilled holes in the middle. These are designed for feathering. Now here's another one of those little tips. Grab your fast track and tilt it on its side. Now we're looking at the underside of the fast track and what you'll notice here is the drop stitch floor has started that chine but it's not very distinct yet and there's a few wrinkles in your flooring. This is really, really simple to correct. It just means that your flooring isn't seated properly. On the top side, if you just take a closed fist and, and bounce or punch out on the floor a little bit, it'll remedy these wrinkles and you'll see that chine will become very pronounced. Now as you can see, with the floor completely seated correctly, the wrinkles are almost completely gone and this chine that runs along the length of the fast track is very pronounced. This is going to help your tracking ability. Now let's go ahead and install our rear skeg. Now you can install your large removable rear skeg. Simply slide it onto the base and lock it in place with the locking retainer clip. This removable skeg is one of the benefits of the fast track, meaning that you can remove it and install it with the kayak fully inflated or deflated, unlike other inflatable kayaks. Now as you can see, this is the underside of the fast track and I wanted to take a moment to point out some of its unique and distinct features. Starting at the leading edge of the front end, this is the patented external inflatable keel. This is a 2014 model fast track and as you can see at both the entry and the exit of the keel is what we call the needle knife cone. The leading edge allows it to slice through the wind, waves and water and the trailing edge tapers down and releases to reduce friction and increase mobility. 
Now both the right and left side of the floor have this very pronounced chine that we had talked about earlier. It runs on both sides along the entire length of the fast track and it stops back here where you have your large removable skeg. You take all these features and combine them and there you have the Seagull Fast Track, a kayak that truly tracks straight and true with each and every paddle stroke. Packing up your Fast Track is a breeze. Let's start by removing the rear removable skeg. Release the locking retainer clip and slide the rear skeg off. Flip your fast track over and remove the air valve caps. Push down on the center valve stem and quarter turn it to the right. The stem will stay in the down position allowing the air to escape. Be sure that your eyes and your face are not directly over the valve. Next, slide off the optional motor mount if you have one. Remove your seats. Now begin rolling up your fast track from the back to the front towards the air valves, pushing all the air out as you roll it along. One important tip is when you get to your skeg base, make sure that it remains flat the entire time. If you find this video helpful and like to see others like it, please subscribe to our YouTube link. Until next time, I'll see you out in the water.